It's me, Guns and Average Guy, back at it again. And I'm not sure about the usual, but hey, work life. Gotta pay the bills, take care of the fam, all that good stuff. So, this video is, um, it just, uh, this, I got this idea just because a uh, few people, friends and family, and some people on the channel have uh, asked me, you know, how or what did you do to start the collection? What are some good guns to buy just to start collecting or just to have a, a decent arsenal at home so that's why i wanted to do this video so uh, i got about maybe like four or five guns here that i think are a staple for anyone who just kind of wants to start collecting or get into it or just have something a decent little group of guns at home so first one we'll start with is this 38 special um real good gun to ha have <clears throat> excuse me uh it's a unit sexy gun you know men it's easy for women to shoot well as me and of course uh, ammo is readily available and affordable has a pretty decent uh low cost to entry looking at about 230 dollars to maybe 600 of course you can get more expensive from there but this one is actually my wife's everyday carry gun if you've seen some of the recent or some of my earlier videos you'll know this is a taurus uh, 856 model 38 so real easy to use of course for the beginner you just got one switch there for a cylinder release you load it and you can shoot and uh especially for women i mean it's a, it's got a got a little bit of kick but you know it's, it's it's controllable so but especially for women i've told my wife you know if she's ever out she has to use it don't even waste your time trying to pull it out of the purse just aim it reach inside your purse aim through the purse and shoot through the purse i'd rather you know have to spend time buying you a new purse than you know she get hurt or something or, you know someone try to do something to her so definitely good gun to have good first gun to have because it's easy you know it's easy to use and you can use it for self-defense outside the home as well as inside the home so that's that's my first choice for somebody to get uh for a good collector gun all right second good gun to have especially for home defense here we go can't beat this you know what it is 12 gauge shotgun tactical this is a G4, if you've seen this one before. Now, the thing about this, the 12 gauge is a little bit powerful. <clears throat> so uh, let's say if you're a single woman and you want something uh, still in a shotgun that's not as powerful, you can go with 14 gauge or maybe a 20 gauge. They're not as powerful, but still can pack a good kick. You can put uh, shotgun shells in it or bird shot. And you don't really have to be accurate with your aim. You just point and shoot. And definitely, you know, when somebody hears a sound, you know, that helps, but that won't scare the bad guys away. You really need to shoot, so bam. Safe distance, safe direction. Yeah, so this was good to have. Um, another variation on that is just a regular pump shotgun. So you guys may have seen this one. I think I did a short video about this one. This is my pumper nickel, another G-Force. It's in, uh, it says satin nickel. Yeah, it's kind of pretty, but Again, not a very expensive gun. Looking at about, I think I paid maybe two something for this one. But again, good home defense gun. Ammo is readily available, affordable, easy to use, point and shoot. And the biggest thing too, is you don't have to worry about over penetration. Uh -huh, I know, that's what she said. But anyway, uh, you can also use it for a possible hunting gun. If you want to do some light hunting, you can put some uh, shotgun slugs in it. But yeah, this is a good one to have, so. Mm-hmm. Yep. All right, moving right along. Another good one to have in your stable. <clears throat> and I'll show you three variations on this one. The nine millimeter. So this one is my Beretta PX4 Storm subcompact. Uh, nine, nine millimeter, like I said. It's safe. Nothing's in it. It's good. But yeah, love this gun. Uh, like I said, it's my EDC. Um, so no compact. See how small it is? I can actually pretty much hide it behind my hand. But yeah, uh, one of my favorites, definitely. And this one is uh, good for beginners too because it has a decocker. So you can have one in the chamber, ready to go, cocked and locked, hot. See that? Then you just flip the switch. Decocks. You're safe. So yeah, I like this one, but easy to conceal, easy to hide. I'll kind of show you real quick. Don't talk about my, uh, my setup, but I got on jogging pants today, so. There you go. Where's the gun? Can't really see it. 
<laughs> but anyway, yeah. This one is my favorite one. I'll show you a couple other variations on that. We got the full size nine million. This is my Taurus PT92 AFSD. It's a Beretta 92 clone. We're safe, we're good. And a lot of you guys may have seen this one before. One of my, another one of my favorites though, just cause I mean, it's a pretty gun and got it for a decent price. Again, price points, you're looking at here, like 470 to 600. I think I got this one for like five. I got this one for like maybe 550. Um, but this is, you know, more full size. So bigger guys, you know, can wear this. Or, you know, if you're a lady and you like to carry big purses, there you go. Again, somebody's bothering you, just reach in your purse and shoot through the purse. Hey, you gotta do what you gotta do to protect yourself. So yeah. So here's another version. This is my newest EDC. This one is a EC9S Ruger. So this is actually nine millimeter. And you can see it's actually a little bit smaller than this one. You can see it kind of, you know, see if I can line them up right. Yeah, it's actually a little bit smaller though. Just slightly. It's definitely thinner because it's single stack. Um, but yeah, I carry this one mostly in the summertime now because, you know, sometimes you'll have them shorts and, you know, a t-shirt and you don't want it to print as easily. And sometimes if I'm wearing something more dressy, then yeah, this is what I'll take. So one of my favorite EC9. So a little bit smaller version of the nine millimeter. And again, easy for anybody to carry, female, male, whatever. So that's on the nine. And what do we have left here? Last but not least, I think everybody should have a 22. So, start with this one first, 22 rifle. Now, this is an AR version. This is my Smith & Wesson MP1 Sport. So, you see, AR style, but still real easy gun to, to uh, work with. Night police, simply, nothing in the chamber. See? Bring it home. Yep, safe direction. Yeah, so pretty good little gun to have. Uh, I think I do still want to put a uh, binary trigger on this one. So, but fun to have just for practicing. Once you get into guns, you just want to go to range and just throw some layer down. 22 LR is pretty cheap. You can buy about a bucket, you know, so you can burn up as much of this layer as, as you want to and it won't break the bank. So. Just a good little option to have. This one has the uh, adjustable stock. But yeah, I like this one. Fun to shoot, you can plank with it. You can take it out with the kids. Low recoil, easy to use, no problem. Um, just a all, good all around training rifle. Um, low entry cost, uh, you're looking at maybe 200 to 400, depends on what brand you buy. I think this one may have been about 450 or so. So, and just another, variation on that this one's an older one but just your regular 22 lr regular shotgun i mean not shotgun but rifle style now this is the older version of course they make them like this but most of them now have clips just like the ar so this one is two fed here i think it'll hold maybe i don't know 12 13 something like that it's another one of my, my dad's old guns if you guys have seen this one on another video but Again, cheap ammo, easy to get, easy to shoot. Can't go wrong with that, 22 LR. Another version of that the pistol is this. It's my Ruger, SR-22, 22 LR pistol. So make sure we're empty, looking good. Nothing in the chamber, all right. But yeah, this is another good one to have. Uh, I mean, you can use it for EDC, but uh, I mean, you gotta be pretty accurate. <laughs> you gotta hit, hit someone in the right spot. We're gonna take them down with this, because I mean, it's a 22. But a lot of people don't know, 22 is one of the worst things to get shot with, because it can enter your body, ricochet off bones. I mean, you can get shot in the stomach and it'll end up in your heart. It bounces off your real bone. So that's, that's it's still dangerous, but still not, you know, I wouldn't definitely wouldn't want to carry this in the winter time, because somebody has on enough clothes, it won't, it barely will make it through the clothes, through a, you know, a couple of sweaters and a big jacket, but still good to have just to um, practice with, take to the clothes, work on your form, um, just to be better with accuracy. So again, you know, 
Elmo was there to cheat. He used to shoot in the back and shoot one. So yeah. But yeah, that's about it. It's just something I wanted to put out there for anyone who's looking to get into uh, collecting. Uh, these are the guns that I would start with. Not saying that this is the end all be all, but that would be uh, what I would start with right about now. All right, guys, you know what to do. Like, subscribe, share, all that good stuff. Peace.